While Dalton Hospital was busy changing out signs over the weekend, Southeast Alabama Medical Center is now Southeast Health. Administrators are celebrating the rebranding with a week of activities, some open to the public, but they kicked off with a short film about the new name and changed out staff badges. Southeast Health now includes the medical center itself, ACOM, the medical group, and the Health Foundation. I think the community is going to embrace this change as they learn more about what we're doing here at Southeast Health. You know, we're no longer just a single location in a medical center. We are a full health system, and we have so much to offer this community, and we hope that they'll continue to be proud of the good work that we're doing here. The hospital system will spend the week getting people in the area familiar with the campuses and services. The name change at the big hospital group has been well publicized, but it wasn't the it wasn't only Southeast Health that opened in Dothan this weekend, and that might cause some major confusion. Blogger Ricky Stokes purchased the name rights to Southeast Health LLC from the Secretary of State's office for just twenty-eight dollars. Now, although he doesn't have any plans to open a physical structure with that name, he does plan on driving people to his new website. The hospital has always been known as the medical center, and for decades, except for new people coming in, will be known as the medical center, not as Southeast Health. And uh, so by this, providing information about what's going on in the healthcare community, they just happen to be the same name. Stokes says he hopes to have the informational website online by Thursday.